Hi, this is Chadi and today we are discussing a Brazilian judo treasure or legend, George Medi. So, George Medi is actually um, one of the rare judokas who has ninth degree black belt from the Kodokan certified and also he was able to teach judo in Japan. So, a non-Japanese teaching judo in Japan is an incredible feat of accomplishment uh, the amount of trust the Japanese had in him in order to let him teach is amazing and also a certified ninth degree black belt from the Kodokan a red belt who's also not a Japanese is also something admirable so George Medi was actually born in France back in January 1st 1934 uh, in Cannes France but at the age of 15 he went to Brazil for a vacation and decided to never go back he loved the country way too much so he was a French born Brazilian and uh, he started judo he, he started training under Yasuichi Matsumoto which is actually a student of Kiyuzo Mifune also known as the god of judo so he, he also went to the Carlos Gracie Jiu-Jitsu Academy, but his experience there or his uh, time there did not last long as he had some differences with them, uh, particularly lack of trust. He did not trust the Gracie family. He also said that um, they were very bad at throwing. They did not know how to throw. It was just mainly Newaza. He felt that his training was incomplete with them and thus he did not go and continue and become a Gracie student so uh, I think anyone who would train Jiu Jitsu today and only Jiu Jitsu they would know that they are terrible at takedowns and their only uh, resort is pulling guard so in a sense uh, yes there's not much throwing so uh, in his, he wanted to learn the fight or the grappling from all its aspect both standing and on the ground so he had to leave so he also went to uh, japan he he back in 1952 he wanted to go and learn at the kodokan he was invited by matsumoto himself he had initially uh, agreed to a five-year stay at the kodokan living there with the room etc i already covered the kodokan and its facility and how it's uh, divided so he wanted to spend five years at the Kodokan and training and but that dream did not last long because his mother was sick he had to attend to his mother so the stay at Japan only lasted six months so but uh, he lasted a total of 10 years in Japan going back and forth and training and getting his ninth degree black belt from the Kodokan so instead of saying staying five years straight he was going back and forth and also uh, he was at the Maracana in 1953 when Helio Gracie had the legendary battle against Masahiko Kimura. So he he stated that uh, Masahiko Kimura was not this huge giant that the Gracies made him out to be. They were being dishonest and also he was around 185 pounds so he wasn't a lot you know muscular or thicker than Helio and also um, it was a bit staged that fight uh, Elio asked if he could just last a bit longer before he finished him off so uh, unlike the Fadda family he had some uh, beef quote unquote beef uh, with the Gracie family he did not trust them uh, he called them liars also when he was in their academy they, uh, they talked about him being uh, a judo French uh, a champion while he was still a beginner back in Brazil and he only lived 15 years in France so uh, which made him you know he didn't trust them basically uh, and also he said they were bad at throwing so I think that's the only person in history uh, that I covered he had problem with the Gracie family so he also um, won the Pan Americans medals back in 63 and 67 um, I believe it's silver and bronze and he was the Brazilian uh, 
champion for seven straight years. So he competed uh, on the Pan American, the American continent, and also competed in five world championships. Uh, he re received his fourth dan at the age of 32, and he taught noticeable students like Walid Ismail and also Hickson Gracie and Mario Sperry. So uh, he had a long career of mainly training judo and becoming accomplished. Uh, teaching was also a thing. He taught high school uh, in Japan. Um, I believe he was the first non-Japanese to teach judo uh, in Japan. So I don't know if who else are the others. I'm not sure, but um, that's a huge. Not only he finished uh, his uh, black belt degrees in the Kodokan, but also he taught in Japan and taught Hicks and Gracie even though he had beef with that family so Hicks and Gracie in order for him to come to George and say I want to be your student despite being known to have uh, a bad relationship with the Gracie means that he is very well respected as a professor and he has uh, proved himself to be a very good teacher and also a judoka winning the Brazilian championship multiple years in a row and also a medalist in the Pan Americans and competing in five world championships so uh, despite everything that happened with the Gracies they still had respect for him and you know one of their best if not the best Gracie uh, learned under him which is Hicks and Gracie so uh, he was also very fluent in Japanese Portuguese English and French so he was a very intelligent and talented uh, man uh, in everything even the legend uh, Isao Okano said that if you combine all uh, the knowledge that is here meaning the Kodokan they will not amount to the total knowledge of George Medi's judo knowledge so someone like Okano saying this about you is considered so I would say he's also a legend in Japan and in Brazil so this is a very interesting uh, character to cover. Um, he wasn't this competitive giant, uh, but still he was able to accomplish a lot of things and gain the respect of so many people. Uh, this was Shadi and thank you for listening.